يا حبيب الله حبيبنا يا رسول الله يا سيدنا يا حبيب الله حبيبنا يا رسول الله يا سيدنا فيك يا مولانا سدنا فيك يا مولانا سدنا يا مرفوع الشان يا يا مرفوع الشان During the time of Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq after the death of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu there were certain tribes in Hadramaut that had committed apostasy. They refused to pay the zakat tax. And so Sayyidina Abu Bakr had sent an army to fight these people that had refused to pay the zakat tax. This is what Habib Ali was talking about about a week ago on top of the roof of Dara Mustafa when he was talking about when Sayyidina Abu Bakr first became the Khalifa, the decision he had to make whether he was going to ascend the army that the Prophet Muhammad had originally organized to send the armor of Sayyidina Usama or that according to the advice of Sayyidina Omar that this was his advice to send this army first and deal with these people who committed apostasy later. But what Habi Ali went on to mention was that the opinion of Sayyidina Abu Bakr was the right opinion which he was, he realized that the only way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give us victory is by following the sunnah. Right, and then he said his famous statement that in terms of the deen becoming deficient while I'm alive, he said, no way. And so the first thing that he did was that he sent armies here to come to take care of the problem that had happened here with the zakat, and then likewise decided to implement the army of Sayyidina uh, Osama. And so that there came a group of Sahaba, the Hadramaut, to take care of this problem. And so when the armies had reached Hadramaut, that they had found there's certain people that had committed this apostasy in other parts of Hadramaut, but they found that Tareem, that not one person had committed apostasy. Right? And so this is when it reached Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that he made his famous supplication for Tareem. He made three supplications. One, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in the water. And two, that it remained civilized until Yom al Qiyamah. And then three, that Allah blessed the ulama and the awliya to grow like seeds from the ground. ومسرى بنعيم نظرة إن صح الإيمان